Hi there, I'm Sue Walsh and welcome to my studio. I'm so grateful to North Yorkshire Open Studios for this opportunity to do an online version of the actual North Yorkshire Open Studios. It's such a shame that you can't be here in person because the garden is lovely at the moment and I was really looking forward to giving you a garden tour and plying you with tea and cake and welcoming you into my space. So some of you may not know what EcoPrint is. Uh, that's my art. Um, EcoPrint is mark making with botanical matter. So leaves or flowers indeed, paper, fabric. So all these marks on the fabric or the paper have been made by real leaves in contact with the said fabric or paper. So during this period of lockdown, I've been working very much with what's in the garden and what's on my local walks and just using simple paper to make prints. So each day as I've walked, I've collected a little bit of foliage and and then pressed it between the pages of some paper. This paper was actually stock that my grandfather used to have uh, because he was a printer. Um, so it's been rather nice just to use that paper. So here you can see just tucking the leaves into the pages and later on I'll show you what this looks like. So here's some of my sketchbooks. I've been walking the Dales Way and every time I go for a day's walk I take a, a little cardi book with me, which is what these are, and I fill it full of plants as I go. And then when I get home I steam the whole lot. And so here's the lockdown diaries just assembling some cards and some books. So, just flick through this one. So for North Yorkshire Open Studios, I've commandeered our conservatory as a gallery space and a workspace. I'll just give you a general sense of the room when you walk into it. These are all my natural dyeing experiments. I've been rescuing some clothes from charity shops and printing with them. Upcycled clothing, given a new lease of life. And I'm quite pleased with this wool coat that I found in a charity shop, which I've printed with eucalyptus, lots of different kinds of eucalyptus.
I quite like large pieces, large scale wall hangings. But more recently, I've just been keeping things quite small and low key. So here's a little workspace that I've been using. You can see clamps and ties. This it looks like plastic, but it's actually compostable bin bags. I use that as a barrier. And actually that's something that's very important to me is the sustainability side of everything. Um, you know, being accountable all the way along the process for everything that happens. So non-toxic plant matter, natural dyes, natural mordants that are safe to dispose of around the garden. Um, I only ever use natural fabrics, so silks, cottons, linens, wool. This is a silk wool hanging. Or you could use it as a table runner. It was printed with foliage from my garden. Here you can see the black sambucus and the dogwood, the cornice. So I thought you might like a little walk around the garden. It's nothing special, but I think the healing power of nature and beauty is so powerful. I think that's what my work is about really, is really bringing that love of nature and all things beautiful onto the page or onto a piece of fabric. So maybe you've been stuck inside for lockdown, um, like most of us. So this just give you a little glimpse into the garden. And this is really the other half of my studio. Yes, there's the inside where I'm making and chopping and steaming and bundling. But the outside is where I really am very happy um, collecting foliage, tending the garden and generally enjoying nature. And I hope that you can find such consolation in nature too. So the eco-printing method for fabric is similar to paper but requires a bit more preparation. Fabric needs to be scoured and mordanted before it can receive colour. And then the leaves are laid out on the fabric. Um, and then it's rolled up very tightly. Sometimes I use a barrier, sometimes I use carrier cloths. And then the whole thing is wrapped up with bindings before being cooked. The best bit about any eco-printing experiment is unwrapping or unbinding, unravelling your bundle to see what prints have been made on your paper or fabric. It's hard to believe when you open a bundle containing eucalyptus, that the incredible colour that you see, the bright oranges, reds even, can actually just come straight from the leaf. But I think you'll see in this little video that this is actually the case. This colour really does come from the leaf. Even though it's a blue-green leaf, it, it gives an extraordinary print. However, having said that, not every kind of eucalyptus gives orange um, and it does have a particular affinity with wool.
So earlier I was showing you the visual lockdown diary as I was assembling it for processing. As it was drying, I was considering how to present it. And I think we've all had a sense of time moving very differently. A normal time has been suspended for everyone globally. How extraordinary is that? And so I wanted to have this element in the piece, which is more like an installation. As our days have been hanging by a thread and each one seems like a moment on its own. Each page is suspended, waiting in a liminal space. And so on the threshold of becoming something new. It's as if all creation is holding its breath. And so the papers turn on the breath of any passing breeze. I feel it's a great moment for all of us that we must all take this opportunity to change the way that we live. So here we see a stack of natural fabrics. This is handwoven cotton. This is wool. This is a very, very fine wool, which I use for scarves. And there's some muslin, natural linens, and silk velvets, and vintage sheeting. I do like to use and reuse fabric wherever I can. And a lot of my work involves carrier cloths, which carry a dye or a mordant to be transferred onto another piece of fabric. And I keep these and try and reuse them. And indeed, I have made lots of other things with the blankets, the carrier cloths. Here you can see the Norwegian maple, the red-leafed maple that I showed you outside, along with some birch. 